Ladies and gentlemen, the O815 National Rail Service to London Liverpool Street has been delayed for approximately 30 minutes. We do apologise for the late warning and any inconveniences this may have caused you. Mr. Singh. Dr. Hardworker. How are you? Very fine, thank you. It's nice good to, to see, see you. Good to see you yourself. And where are you up to? Uh, I have an appointment with a client somewhere. I have been waiting here for the past 30 good minutes. 30 minutes? 30 minutes for the train. Well, I thought this train works at six minutes interval. I'm really surprised. I'm very <laughs> surprised. Anyway, I'm not surprised. You're not surprised? I'm not surprised at all. I'd like to take my seat. What do you mean you're not surprised? <laughs> anyway, have you seen page four of the paper you're reading? Page four. Page four. KU's unemployment forecast to rise to three million by 2012. You mean three million people will be unemployed by 2012? I'm not surprised. HXBZ Bank blames Lehman Sisters collapse as 25 years pension and investment fund flushed down the drain. I'm not surprised. <laughs> National airline and railway staff threaten another strike. When will all of this be over in this country? I am not surprised. <laughs> Even service industries, every sector of the economy is now down. The bank, the hospitals, everything. The national economy has just gone into tatters. The government finance is in tatters. Look, I don't know where we are going. We have $850 billion debt in this nation. And come to think of it, the dollar is risen, is appreciated against the pounds so much. I don't understand. You know, Dr. Hardworker, just when you talked of the banks again, you know, despite all the hard-earned money that we invested in Southern Rock and other banks, all everything taxpayers invested, I'm really, really surprised that they still did not release all the credits and overdraft facilities to medium-sized enterprises like mine. Why are you surprised? I am not surprised. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Do, do, all my companies have gone into administration right now. Really? Every single one of them. Really? I, I use every available strategy to keep them. I downsized, right-sized, restructured, use every same flimsy excuse to lay off scars. In fact, as Dr. a Dr. Hardwaka, enough of this story. You know what? I don't know why they call this an economic crunch. Because this is not an economic crunch. This is a total wipeout. <sighs> you know, no, I have lost everything right now. My homes. My cars, even my family, my wife that has spent 10 years living in luxury with me, has threatened to leave me just because of one year hardship. I am not surprised. <laughs> because everything I have put together in pensions has been wiped out. Look, I am a living and a walking corpse. I am dead already. You know, the last time I had a medical checkup, the doctor said I already have high blood pressure. I'm surprised it's just high blood pressure I have. The pressure I have right now is more than high blood pressure. It's, it's terrible. The machine almost blow when they take my own pressure. I, I really, I wonder where we're going. I really wonder. Uh, yet we have all the first class, Harvard trained economists, accountants. Where exactly are we going in this country? We are all going nowhere. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm just tired of the whole thing. Anyway, Dr. Atua, that is my train. Oh. That is my train. That's my train, Marcel. You see what I'm talking about right now? I used to be shopper driven everywhere before. I now have to compete with trains with this. 